Hello, everybody, and welcome to Frost Cow Now Stadium here on WOSN. Doug Jenkins, Josiah Stober with you for today's regional final matchup in Division Three. Ottawa Glendorf coming in with a 19 and one mark in girls high school soccer, taking on the Eastwood Eagles, who come in at 16, three and one. Well, anytime you're playing November soccer, Josiah, it's been a great season, but for both of these teams, much higher hopes than simply playing in the regional final, especially this Ottawa Glendorf team, state runners up just a year ago. Yeah, as you mentioned, you know, this team is focused they're ready to go um, as we've seen this throughout their playoff run not giving up a goal um, here yet in this tournament so you can tell they're focused they want to get back to that state championship game and try to come back and, and win it this year well not only not giving a goal up during their tournament run giving up very few goals this entire season uh, it's been I don't want to say light work for Carson Erford back there certainly goalies have plenty to do even when they're not facing shots but only five total shots have gotten by her all season that is a huge mark a testament not only to her ability and goal but the team that she has in front of her limiting opportunities for the other team yeah and as you said you know not always easy as a goalkeeper you know i've got to make sure she's always on um, you never know but as you said just a team overall you know they're solid up front they're solid in that midfield. You know, that defense, like you said, only giving up those six goals all year and four of them to our Division One team. Yeah. Perrysburg, who's playing right now um, in the regional final um, against Strongsville. Um, but, you know, just a, a quality team all around. Well, Coach Michelle Mag's team backs down from no challenge. They set the schedule up that way uh, quite purposefully to get ready for uh, a long playoff run, taking on the likes of Anthony Wayne. A Finley, like you said, Perrysburg. And as you mentioned before we went on the air, they only play like one or two Division three games in their entire regular season because most of the Western Bucket League is D1 or D2. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, yeah, four games all year. Uh, the most they played is here in this tournament, yeah. Division three team. So as you said, uh, Coach Mag really trying to prepare her team for this tournament run, knowing those teams that she may face in that state final um, game. So um, they're ready, um, but coming up against a really good, though, Eastwood Eagles team. Indeed they are. Eastwood with only three losses, one tie on the season. Those three losses coming to some pretty strong teams. Lost to uh, Liberty Benton out of Finlay by a score of 4-2 in their opening game of the season. Uh, shut out by Notre Dame Academy out of Toledo 2-0 at the midway point. And the other loss to Maumee, another strong program. That was a pretty good matchup there. 4-3 ended up being the final the tie. A 2-2 uh, with Shawnee the Indians, we know that the Indians, a tough team, but one of the teams that played down in the North Titans the closest throughout this season. So Eastwood certainly uh, it's a team to be reckoned with, and one that they've got some very good players. You look at the stats, you have to mark number seven, Delaney Zara. She could be a big problem for you. Yeah, absolutely. Comes into the season with 23 goals, has 12 assists, so everything kind of flows through her. But if you look at some of her teammates, Piper Sutton, uh, Ava Kashmerick, um, and Sailor King all have eight or nine goals um, all around those eight to nine assists on the year. So this is a well-rounded team also. Most definitely they'll be up to the challenge. If you look at Ottawa Glendorf, the stats, uh, the goals, McKenna Seifert has been the leading scorer there, 31 goals, but it's pretty spread around. Bree Douglas is in double-digit goals with 14. Mackenzie Recker has 17. Micah Aldridge with 21 goals. They have plenty of people who can lead the attack. Then you have Bree Douglas who just can distribute as well as anybody in this region with 23 assists on the season. Yeah, and you know, that's a crazy number, 23 assists um, on the year. But as you said, uh, having four players on this OG Lady Titans team that have scored double-digit goals, and that's huge, um, you know, especially defensively for the opposing team, is which player are you going to have to yeah. stop? You know, and many teams can't stop four different players. Yeah, you can't cheat towards one player, try and bracket them in or anything like that when you know somebody on the opposite side of the field is sitting back waiting to, uh, to put one in the back of the net as well. Today's game of a service of Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. And we are underway in Tiffin. A chance to move on to the state underway. And it will be the Titans going left to right from our vantage point here. Eastwood on the attack. They'll roll one out to the far side looking for Ava Kachmerik. She has eight goals and seven assists. A very balanced player in the throwing coming up now for Eastwood. Well, these first 10 minutes are always interesting in any high school game or any high school soccer game, but especially when you get to this level, there's that feeling out process. Yeah, and you kind of see that here with this Eastwood team. You know, on that first attack, didn't send a whole lot of bodies forward, just kind of feeling out 
um, this OG team, and, and we'll see which team, you know, really tries to take advantage of those opportunities, especially if they can come early right, right here. pass, and the shot going to be wide to the left off the foot of Delaney Zura. It's a nice setup. You just couldn't quite get swung around on that one to put it on frame. Yeah, and, you know, early opportunity for this Eastwood team. You know, that's the person you want to have the ball at their feet, you know, 12 yards out and, you know, just a little bit left of the post there. And we'll see if Eastwood can maintain a little bit of the possession here and put this OG defense under pressure. Ball put down by Savannah Wrecker. She'll send it forward and out of play. And a throw in now coming up for the Eagles in their white road jerseys. Here's the throw. And that one will be sent back into the middle of the field. Titans just trying to find some possession here. Unable to really switch fields at this point as Bree Douglas sends one forward. It'll be a long run from McKenna Seifer to try and get up there. Oh, that's not a great clearance. Aldridge sends it in. There's a shot, and it is in the back of the net. Was she on sides? Officials say yes. And Ottawa Glendorf is on the board first with 38.04 remaining in the first half. The Titans strike. We'll take a break. Back with the goal scorer and more after this. Welcome back to a Frost Cowdown Stadium where it's a lady dueling. That's her seventh goal of the season off the uh, really just Kind of OG getting aggressive, not really a set up in possession. They just hammered it at the net and good things happened. Yeah, you know, almost a, a mishap there by that center back there for Eastwood. It tried to clear it and the ball didn't get past that first line and, and really just a, a bad bounce um, off a defender and found Delaney Dooling right on that backside. Nobody around her and she slots it home for a 1 0 lead for the OG Titans. It's the Titan strike first, and sometimes that is the name of the game. Strike first, strike early, strike often. And good things are going to happen. Try and get your, your opponents playing off their back heels early. Make them scramble a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what Eastwood decides to do. It looked like they're sitting back a little bit more after that quick strike by this Titans team. And, you know, we'll see what how OG responds to this. Maybe they can calm down a little bit now and gain some possession here. And, move the ball and make Eastwood defend him. They were trying to get it up to Piper Sutton there. The cross, though, a little bit too far. Douglas brings it up down the near sideline. Come back. Now she'll try and send it down the line. Ooh, this miss clear could be dangerous. It's sent out right. Red side wrecker. Can wrecker get there first? No, she cannot. Jordan Jensen rushes from the goal line to get there and slide to take that opportunity away. That looked like another very dangerous opportunity for Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, a couple errors by this Eastwood uh, back line has just haven't been able to clear it into some non-dangerous areas and OG's kind of been sitting in there and just playing it long and a uh, good ball to record just a little bit too close to the keeper there. We'll get a trip here on the Titans so Eastwood will get a free kick here just beyond midfield. Oh well, actually they're going to say what out of bounds. I thought initially they had called the trip. Uh, it will be set out of play. Just a missed touch by Eastwood and throw one coming up Ottawa Glandorf. Ball headed forward, trying to work it up to McKenna Siefker. Taken away, though, by the Eagles. It's a nice move by the center back in Michaela Bueller to switch field, take it to the right side. Now they'll try and work it back to the middle as they find Piper Sutton. Sutton plays it forward, nothing doing there as the Titans send it away. That'll go harmlessly out of bounds. Yeah, some good possession there by Eastwood, especially that their center back playing the ball out of the back, finding those wide players and but this OG defense was able to step as the ball got to the middle of the field, was able to step and just clear the ball. And now an opportunity here, number 19, Micah, Micah Aldridge. Aldridge. Yeah, that's takeaway. Now she's off to the races, sends it out to the left sideline. Titans have two on the left if they can get the cross. Oh, could not get the touch, though, on the ball over on the left sideline. It'll be an Eastwood throw. And you saw Sharks circling on the right side there, setting up for that cross. Yeah, we see as OG gets the ball wide, have two or three runners in that backside waiting for that cross to come in and just wasn't able to connect with that pass outside on the wing. Throw in coming up now for Ottawa Glendorf. They will throw it down the near sideline or the far sideline. Eastwood again can't get a good clear. 
And Ziefker puts a shot on it, deflected away by Jensen. It'll roll along the touchline there. And that was a really good save by Jensen as that ball was hit really well. It was low, was able to get down early and, and push that off to the side. So a great early save by this keeper, keeping her team in the game. Two shots on goal for the Titans, one that's gotten passed. They lead one nothing here just six minutes into as this ball rolls back. And we'll get back to uh, Jordan Jensen again. Jensen's had a great season, 68 saves on the year, 82% save percentage, which is an outstanding number. And Mike Aldridge comes up with the steal, cuts back to her right. Can she swing it outside? No, she's going to take the shot. That one just over the crossbar. I think initially the keeper thought maybe she would swing it out to Bree Douglas on the right side. And Mike Aldridge decided to just put some power on it. Just missed on that opportunity. Yeah, Jordan Jensen did adjust her feet really quickly, as you said. I think she was looking, expecting that ball to go out wide. And uh, Michael Aldridge, some really fancy footwork there in the middle, got herself set up that right foot and just went over the crossbar. Now Eastwood had the early possession for the first couple of minutes of this game, but since then the Titans have dominated control of the ball. Bree Douglas cuts to the left. Now she's going to have to come back and drop it back where she finds Aldrich. Aldrich wants to go back to her right. Chips it that direction, looking to get it to McKenna Seifker. That one sent out of play. Throwing coming up Ottawa Glandorf. Quick throwing down the line. See if they can uh, cut this one in. That one will hit the side netting, and it will be a goal kick coming up now once again for Eastwood. But good things happen when you challenge a keeper. Not every shot has to be a great shot. It can be just keep putting it in there. You wear a defense down. Maybe they make a mistake, and then good things happen for you. That's, one reason that OG has been able to pile on so many goals this year is they just keep coming at you. Well, you see it early as Eastwood, after that first goal, is really that back eight has really sunk yep. into the 18-yard box. And, you know, with the, the strength of Michael Aldridge there in that midfield, you know, kind of peppering that goalkeeper, making that Eastwood defense come out, and then she'll find those passes behind that back line. Eastwood trying to get possession here towards midfield. Ball went out of bounds, last touch by the Titans. Eastwood, Eagle throw it coming up. Right now, Eastwood just trying to find a way to find Delaney Zura a little bit, get her some touches on the ball. Again, 23 goals. She also has 12 assists, so she's capable of distributing it. Now the ball finds its way to her. We'll see what she can make happen. There's a touch to the right side. Can they get it back to her? Yes, they can. Working to her left. She'll take the shot, but that one will be high and over the crossbar. Goal kick coming up for Ottawa Glandorf. Yeah, some good possession there by this Eastwood team, able to combine with her teammate, uh, number 19, Sailor King. A little bit of one-two back and forth, and Found herself in a little bit of space there. Was Zura just twice, a little bit to the left here. As they gain a little bit more possession and find Zura. Now we'll find her again on the left side. Titans trying to lock her into the corner there. It's going to be tapped out of bounds by Savannah Wrecker. Looks like we'll see our firm. Well, not yet. It'll be an Ottawa. Actually, no, with it being an Eastwood throw, the sub will come on. And that will be our first substitution of the ball game. Kayla Mueller will take the throw into the goal box. OG initially unable to get the clearance. Now they're going to get some possession coming out of the backfield. See if they find Douglas on the right side. Sent forward as that was put up by, by Mackenzie Recker. Right back to her. Mackenzie will go back over to Bree Douglas. Uh, once again, OG has those two players backside, you know, waiting for that ball to hopefully slip through. And it um, did early. Um, but you can see, as you said, there's kind of sharks <laughs> around the backside waiting for those cross to come. And that's why OG's been so successful this year, being able to switch the point of attack, finding those runners on the backside. You know, as you said, scoring so many goals this year. Yeah, and it's, it's, an, it's an entire mentality. There's, you see a lot of teams that have great possession, but they don't always work off the ball. And if you can get great possession and you can get that off the ball work, you become an entirely different animal to deal with. And that's what OG has been this year. That's what the really good soccer players, teams that are still playing this time of year, all do. Absolutely, yeah. And you, you know, you just kind of see it. 
you know, it's not always, as you said before, it's not always you have to make the best shot. Yeah. You know, but if you play those balls into dangerous areas, occasionally it's going to fall to those players. And if they're not there, you know, they don't get those opportunities. And we've seen it early here, even OG, those players, they're waiting for that ball to come through to get another opportunity. As it is, OG leads by one. 29-19 remaining here in the first half on the lead, or excuse me, on the structure scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio, uh, Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Yeah, some good defense there by Carly Brinkman. Not only headed the ball, but went back to the Eastwood team, but then was able to get a steal and then find her teammate out on the wing and another good shot so by this OG team. One in, yeah. Kind of put that in a dangerous spot for Jensen there is put it right around the ankle. Sometimes that takes a weird hop, although less so with games on turf. But put another one in. That's the third shot on goal for Ottawa Glendorf here. And again, they've already put one in. Four shots in total for the Titans. Two shots in total for Eastwood so far on this one. Bree Douglas bringing it down the right sideline, taking it towards the corner. Looking to get across. That one's sent in. Eastwood looking for clearance, trying to get it back out to Zura. Taken away, stepping it up front with Savannah Wrecker. And that will allow the Titans to keep possession in their attacking third. Oh, that's a nice stick taken away from Micah Aldrich. We'll see if the Eastwood Eagles can get something in the counter here. Lay it out to the left side. Pass wasn't quite their right idea, but the first one to it is Savannah Wrecker. She'll send it out of play and let OG's defense reset. That was a great takeaway, though, there. And you don't often take it away from Micah Aldridge that way. No, a good opportunity for this Eastwood team to get the ball up high. Uh, the ball landed right in Zura's feet. Um, just played out wide, but a great recovery run by Wrecker there uh, to clear the ball and allow our defense to set their shape up. Ball lobbed forward by OG on the throw in. Eva Herringhouse, who's checked in, got a touch. Gets right back in the vicinity. She'll challenge for it, but it's sent away from her. I went ahead of down and out into a great spot for the Titans. Played forward, but unfortunately for uh, Carly Wasserman, who had just checked in for the Eagles, she was unable to keep that at her feet. And the ball head back out towards midfield. And neither team really able to gain possession here as the ball keeps. <laughs> being kicked up in the air. Both teams trying to clear it out of some dangerous areas, but a lot of pop flies there. Taking the ball towards the outside is Liv Grothaus. Grothaus playing out to the side where she finds dueling. Centering pass, though, off the mark, so Eastwood will get it back. Play it forward and get it to uh, Rothenbuehler. Another takeaway, Titans. The defensive header didn't quite go where they wanted. The Titans trying to get something. That's a nice takeaway. Seeker, Seeker now can make something happen with the diagonals. Nope, she'll play it straight forward. And that one's an easy one for Jordan Jensen. She might have had something on the outside if she could have played it a little bit more diagonal there. Yeah, it looked like she was trying to cut it back uh, to her teammate coming from the left side of the pitch. But instead, it looked like number eight was wide open there on the right side. But, you know, the whole defense was looking one way. She was trying to play it to the opposite side. But... Just wasn't able to connect. But the great thing if you're Ottawa Glandorf is you continue to set those up. So you, maybe you don't get the touch that you want there, but that opportunity may present itself again just by the nature of how quickly they play the ball. And there's another takeaway, Titans. Working it over on the left side, Liv Grothaus trying to turn the corner on the defender. And she's going to get tripped up as she goes to make her run. That will be a kick coming up for Ottawa Glandorf. Yeah, and this will be a in a tough spot for this Eastwood team as OG will be able to put this ball into the box and see how many numbers they throw forward. Mike Aldridge will take it. She's got a big foot, puts it in towards the middle. That one takes a hop for Ottawa Glendorf, just kind of caroms off the foot of Emma Herringhouse and back to the keeper and Jordan Jensen will come up with that one. Yeah, once again, just the ball kind of fell right to the OG player, was in a good spot, just wasn't able to get a quality touch on that shot and was able to be cleared by Jordan Jensen. Good job anticipating the pass there by Delaney Zura. Now I'll switch fields right side. Eastwood trailing by one, but on the attack as they try and work it in their attacking third. And playing a very strong first part of this first half is Liv Grothaus. She's had a couple of takeaways over on that far side. So it's a good job of positioning yourself between the, whoever has the ball in the net and has got her foot on it more often than not. 
Well, we're starting to see a little bit of the strategy from this Eastwood team looking more to counter against this OG team. You know, not throwing a whole lot of numbers forward, yep. but when they do, those those few opportunities that they've gotten, they've thrown a couple, you know, three, four bodies forward to try to counter, to try to find those 1v1s against this OG defense. And that's what makes that first goal so important for Ottawa Glendorf, because the longer you trail, the longer, the less likely it is you can continue to try and play that counter game. You're eventually going to have to start sending more bodies down the field if you can't find that equalizer. And that's when the game really opens up for Ottawa Glendorf. Goal kick coming up, Titans. That went straight up in the air. Aldridge will head it forward. Another header will send it down the left sideline. Titans can't quite get to it as it's picked up by Amelia Ward. Ward distributes pretty well out of the back line. Just six assists on the season, but this time the Titans take it right back from her. Trying to go down the line again. Backspin on that ball gave the Titans a momentary opportunity to attack. Oh, brought back down by Seifker. Seifker could not find an opening. But the Titans remain in possession. This one's going to roll into a wide open space. Chasing it down for Ottawa Glendorf as Mackenzie Wrecker. And that one's set out of play, though, by Delaney Zira of the Eastwood Eagles. Well, with the amount of pressure that OG continues to put on, you know, you start seeing these defenders try to kick the ball away quicker. And we saw that early as, yeah. you know, them trying to get the rid of the ball and, you know, making some of those mistakes. And that's just that constant pressure that OG likes to put on you. You know, if they lose the ball, they want to get the ball back as quickly as possible and gain that possession back. And we're starting to see, you know, some of these defenders just make those errors, you know, and that early on it cost them that first goal. Weren't able to clear it probably as cleanly as they'd like. Right. And it allowed OG to score that first goal. Titans will put that one out of play. And it will be an Eastwood throw. Don't see any substitutions coming on here. We're near the midway point of the first half. And we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. And there's a shot right in the middle of my reading. Titans put that one on net, and again, it's Jordan Jensen coming up huge. And sends that one out of play. It'll be a corner kick coming up, Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, I believe that was Mackenzie Wrecker. Ball came right to her one-touch strike. You know, difficult one. It was high to the right of Jordan Jensen, but was able to get her hands on it and just pushed it out of bounds. It's a great corner right out in front of the net, and it's in the churn. Can the Titans get a foot on it? And that will be momentarily sent away. Titans keeping the pressure on, though. They'll send it out far to the left side. Here comes the centering pass. That one, I think, deflected off of the white jersey again. It'll be another quarter coming up. Yeah, that ball fell right on the six-yard line. Looked like just need somebody to touch it yep. in. Uh, looked like one of the OG got a probably an off leg on it. Uh, just not a whole lot of power. And Eastwood lives to another corner. And that one not going to make it out in front of the net, so a missed opportunity there for the Titans. Eastwood will get the ball back. Unofficially, I've got Ottawa Glandorf down for five shots on goal, six on total. Now, not every shot on goal is a rocket. Some are just dribblers back to the keeper. But if the keeper's not standing there, it goes in the net, so it goes down as a save. At least in my record keeping. I don't know. <laughs> FIFA might have an issue with that. I don't know. Oh, looked like a, might have that been a handball there or off deflection off the arm. but That's what I thought, too. Officials didn't feel like it caused any sort of advantage. Kenzie Recker sent that one looking to the near corner, but a little bit too much on that one. The ball does move fast here at Tiffin at Frost Cowdenhouse Stadium. A little bit faster than a lot of other turf fields, I would say, in the area as well. So something both teams have to account for. It doesn't seem like it's been much of an issue either so much soccer played on turf anymore that i think everybody's kind of used to that speed where you know 10 years ago it was um, it was an adjustment yeah absolutely you know you only had a few schools around the area that may have had turf so you know now you got teams playing half their schedules yeah. um, on turf so it's no longer a you know something these kids aren't used to and you know with many of them playing club anymore a lot of times they yeah. might play club on some turf fields so um, nothing new to these athletes that are out here. Quarter kick number three coming up for the Titans again from the far corner. Just under 20 remaining here in the first half. That's a great ball, and it is deflected by the keeper, and she got right back to it. Jordan Jensen doing some work to get to that one. Had to work around a whole body of people to get to that ball. 
It almost looked like there was a couple of OG players right there, but it was just a little bit too high for them. Um, and Jordan Jensen did a good job of jumping up and getting that ball and eliminating the threat from this OG team. Ball sent down the sideline and deflected out of play. Last touch off of Riley Might for Eastwood. Eastwood will send back the throw in. Wrecker lobs one that one into the goal box. Trying to get to it was McKenna Seifker, but a good job of jostling her out of the way there by Jordan Jensen. Did a good job getting to the spot, but also knowing that that was going to take a high bounce was going to be tough. She didn't come off her feet, just made it hard for Erford to try and work, excuse me, Seifker to try and work around her. She's, yeah, good. She's a good keeper. Yeah, good decision by, by Jensen there, but, you know, just another, you know, for OG is just putting it in a dangerous area. Yep. You, you never know what could happen. You know, the keeper tries to make a save and it, it, and she isn't able to corral it. You know, just putting the ball into dangerous areas. You know, we see this over and over from this OG team. Eastwood trying to get something happening here. That centering pass not on the money from Sam Brooks. Brooks was the only one to be able to catch up to it initially. But Ottawa Glendorf will get it right back. Tried to go back down the sideline. Touched down a play by Eastwood. Quickly back down the sideline again. And the ball will roll back to Recker. Recker sends it forward to Seifker. Seifker looking to center it. That's another oh, good a centering pass. Ball. Drops it back. Aldrich. Aldrich took a long touch. She put her right foot on it and then sent it out of play. I don't think she got the touch she initially wanted on it. She couldn't go to her left. Had to kind of hit it off the outside of her right and couldn't put it on frame. No, but what a great ball there by McKenna Seifker. Yeah. You know, to get her body in a good position, to strike it with her right foot and put it right across the 12-yard line, you know, on the box there. And, you know, just wasn't able to find her teammate. And McKenna Aldridge was able to get a piece on it, just not the strike that she wanted. Ball sent over to the right side now. Ottawa Glendorf will get possession. Douglas comes to the middle. This is where she's dangerous. Now sends it right side. Was looking for a runner down that way with Wrecker. Eastwood able to take it away. Right idea on the pass, just left it a little bit forward. It'll drift back further into the fight Titans defensive half of the field. Played forward, finds Wrecker. Wrecker trying to work the sideline. Well defended by Mueller to work her way, but she gets right back to it. Wrecker puts it into the goal box, but it'll be set away. Just couldn't quite get enough loft on that one to get it into dangerous territory. But here go the Titans just hustling to everything, and that one. Sent high and long. Savannah Recker got a foot on it, just put it over the crossbar. Eight total shots now for Ottawa Glendorf in this game. They are not afraid to take them from distance either. No, and it's nice though when your your outside backer is the one <laughs> putting a strike um, on the the frame there and just went a little bit high, but you saw a little bit of miscommunication there by that Eastwood defense on the backside, allowing Mackenzie Recker to go and win the ball and put a good ball into the box there for this OG team. Well, that defensive header didn't go where it won. Now Eastwood might be able to work on something. Ball in the pass was just a little bit behind the winger out on the right side. Looks like that's uh, catch Merritt. And we sent out a play by the Titans. Throw one coming up Eastwood in their attacking third. Throw in from the far side. Eastwood able to volley it forward a little bit, but finally sent away by Delaney Dooling. Dooling has the goal for Ottawa Glendorf. Again, 15-57 remaining in the first half. It's 1-0 Ottawa Glendorf on the structure scoreboard. I'd read it again, but last time I started to do their read, <laughs> Titan, apparently Titan fans want me to make that read yeah. again. They, they get on the attack. Here comes the throw. Well, they're so quick to yes, get they it are. up the field there. Ball goes out of bounds, and they quickly put it right back in, looking for the, the runner making that, that quick move there. And once again, they're in the box. Herringhouse puts it in play to Seifker. Seifker drops it back. That one going to be lobbed in, and that one is going to be knocked down by Jordan Jensen, who dribbles it once, gets it in her hands, and will send it back down the field. Taken away, Mike Aldrich. Working downhill, little stutter step goes right, and she'll send that forward. It's going to drift wide to the left and out of play. Yeah, I see a little bit of Mike Aldridge's skill on the ball there with a little scissor kick. Got, gave herself a little bit of space, and you know she's got a strong leg, and so she's looking for those outside shots. And uh, Jordan Jensen already knows she's got to be on her toes 
ready for those outside shots from this OG Lady Titans team. I always feel like if you want to look at the growth of soccer in Northwest Ohio especially, I don't think 10, 15 years ago you didn't have kids making that move in space. They might try it as it slowed up, but at speed like Mike Aldridge just did, that's, they just you didn't attempt it. It was just a straight downhill game for everybody, and it's changed so much uh, for the better over the last several years. Yeah, the skill level in Northwest Ohio, as you said, has improved so much. Um, you know, it used to be in the state of Ohio, it was always the Cincinnati's and yep. the, the, the Columbus's and, um, you know, the, the Akron areas and those type of, of city schools. And, and we're starting to see it now kind of filter into Northwest Ohio, you know, even some of these smaller schools. Yep. You know, we're starting to see some of these really good soccer athletes and some of them are on display today. Indeed they are. Is that one sent out of play? The Titans looking for another throw. Oh, just didn't get the touch they wanted right there. Again, today's game brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. There's the throw in. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, that's where home style happens. Douglas working it out to the right side. Crosses it in, and that one right into the hands of Jordan Jensen. Titans continue to threaten. They put 11 shots in. Six of them have been on frame. One has gotten by Jordan Jensen. She's going to get more of them than get by her 82% save percentage on the season. She's a force to be reckoned with back there. To, to get that one early, again, is really helping the confidence of this Titan team. Not that they were lacking for it coming into this game. That's a nice takeaway by Wrecker. Wrecker had to take it away right back. Douglas got a foot on him, but that one rockets off her and out of play. Oh, just how nice for this OG team to have Wrecker and Douglas there on that right side. You know, both of them, you know, comfortable with the ball at their feet. They like to take on defenders. You know, they're always looking for their teammates on those crosses. You know, we've seen it on display today so much already is where they, they see that last defender, they try to take them on, then they get that quick cross. Um, you know, just haven't been able to connect on that cross yet today. But, you know, the more you do it, those more opportunities that you create, you know, you start to see those runners, and especially the defense starts to get a little tired too. Yeah, absolutely. That one set back towards midfield, but Megan Horseman comes up with it, sends it over to the right sideline. My Herringhouse will have it. Winner of this game plays the winner of Warren Champion and Akron Manchester in the state semifinals. That will be on November 7th. Ball put down by Mike Aldridge. Aldridge battling for possession, hasn't taken away, but she's still in the mix and able to get it right back. Cuts it back to her left, sends it over to the left sideline, was looking for that corner, just didn't quite get the strike on it. She wanted to get it all the way over there. Yeah, it was the right idea, but great defensive effort there by the right back for Eastwood has got ahead on the ball. But yeah, if that ball would have got through, you know, then you have OG with some numbers in the box. Throw in coming up for Ottawa Glendorf here. And again, a substitution will bring Delaney Dooling back in. Dooling the goal scorer in this contest. She'll take the place of Marissa Brown. Well, that one bounces well over to Seifker. Seifker trying to do a little give and go, initially disrupted. Sent in, that one high. That one, I think, went off of the, the field goal post. Yeah, it should be and a corner. And it will be a corner kick. Yep. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. That's a great save by Jordan Jensen. And that was Bree Douglas. They moved her over to the left side. Yeah. With that last substitution, and she cut in on her right foot and just put a great strike on frame. And once again, a good save by Jordan Jensen, because if she doesn't get her hand on it, that's going in the back of the net. Time that one out well, and that's not easy to do. That was a good strike on the ball. It's going to be the fourth corner. This one's going to be put low. They'll put it in the mix. Turn shot, and that one off the side of the sidebar. That was a great strike by McKenna Seifker, but just wide to the left. Sometimes the post can be the keeper's best friend, and in that case, it was for Eastwood as it keeps this game at one nothing. Well, and what a strike by her, you know, kind of behind yeah. her a little bit. Had to really get that left leg around the ball and, you know, bounces off the post and, 
you know, as you said, <laughs> goalkeeper's best friend there. <laughs> you know, but shots like that, you never know if it might go off the back of right. one of the players. Um, but what a shot by there by Seeker, and just another one for OG. Unfortunately, it doesn't go in the back of the net. Down to 9.37 remaining in the first half. Ottawa Glendorf up one nothing on the scoreboard, which is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio. By all let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Over to the right side, getting it to Herringhouse. Herringhouse on the overlap, tried to get it to Wrecker. Pass wasn't quite on the money, but the clearance went right back to the Titans, and that has been a theme that's been reoccurring here in the first half. Titans take it all the way down to the touchline, and Douglas, that one's out in front of the net, and Titans will hammer it home. That's Micah Aldrich who puts a big left foot on it, and Ottawa Glandorf now leads 2-0 with 9.02 remaining here in the first half. We'll take a timeout. More to come from Tiffin after this. Welcome back to Frost County Al Stadium here in Tiffin. A goal for Ottawa Glendorf. Again, your goal sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's Chicken for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. That's where home style happens. That goal off the foot of Micah Aldrich with 9.02 remaining in the first half. And again, it's just a result of more pressure by Ottawa Glendorf. That time they forced a mistake. Jordan Jensen, like you said during the break, was just a little bit out of position from where she probably wanted to be. Yeah, the ball went to the end line and it was a great cross um, by the OG player. And it looked like Jordan Jensen was a little bit outside of her post, you know, maybe expecting a, a, a line drive um, shot to try to get on it. Just went over her head, you know, bounced down right to the feet of Micah Aldridge. And as we said is, you know, OG always has those bodies in the box. Yeah you know, four or five bodies waiting for that ball to come to them, and she strikes it well and puts it in the back for a 2-0 lead for this OG team. 8-0-3, you know the Titans swarming. This is, they can score them in bunches. They've done it all season. If they can put another one in here before half, they're going to really like how the rest of this game sets up for them. That one headed for by Aldridge. Now cutting it back to the right, see if your fires that one deflected away by the defense. Stepping in front was Amelia Ward. But the Titans get it right back. Here's another centering pass. Deflected up. Nice job by Seifker to shield that, to set it down, drops it back. There's a left foot record, puts it in. That one's going to slowly roll towards the touch line, but it'll be picked up by Jordan Jensen. Yeah, Seifker does a really good job of using her body, understanding the bounce of the ball and um, putting herself in a position, um, you know, to, to maintain possession for this OG team. OG team she's done that a couple times today where you know just bodying that person off the ball and allowing the ball to come where she wants it yeah. and then she strikes it she dictates what's going to happen in that even without having that first touch on the ball that one long four but out of play and will be an eastwood throw we've got an eastwood player down on the field as well and while they tend to her, we'll take a timeout. 6.49 remaining here in the first half at Frost Cowhouse Stadium in this Division Three regional final matchup. Ottawa Glendorf leading Eastwood by a score of two to nothing. We're back after this. Welcome back to Frost Countdown Stadium. For those of you who are confused, this is WOSN. I am Doug Jenkins alongside Josiah Stober, and uh, yeah, my radio brain kicked in there for a moment. Fortunate uh, there for Eastwood. Looks like the player coming off of her own power. Unfortunate, that's Delaney Zura, that's their leading goal scorer, so they want to check her out. Looks like they'll uh, give her a look over there at the, uh, at the golf cart and see how she's doing, but it looks like uh, She's going to be okay be able to come back. They're going to need her and her scoring ability to try and rally back in this game. Yeah, it looks like it you know, might have been a, something along the shin, may have been kicked, or, um, but it looks like the athletic trainer is taking care of her, so hopefully she can uh, come back in for this game, for this Eastwood team. If they want to get back into this game, they're going to need her foot there. And Eastwood tries to gain a little bit of possession here, but that defense yeah. from OG just collapses the area, doesn't allow many lanes to pass through, and wins the ball back, and then they're on the attack. And to your earlier point, it's they're, if you're looking for a counter and you get that sun turn, and they were looking at the two on four there, that's, that's going to be tough to do against a very strong OG defense. 
There's a centering pass they were intended for Kaczmarek. Could not come up with it as the Titans initially sent it away. This one locked forward. Nice defensive header to send that one away. I think we're going to get a whistle, and this is going to be a free kick coming up for Otto Glendorf. Caleb Euler, a little aggressive coming into the backside of the uh, Titan player there, and the Titans get a free kick as a result. Well, I think if you're going to attack this OG team is you're going to have to get the ball wide. You know, whenever that ball on that counter is, you start seeing those back four, they really crunch that space in the middle, and um, you're going to have to play wide to, to stretch out this OG defense a little bit. Another quarter kick coming up for Ottawa Glandorf as they continue to put the pressure on a 528 remaining here in the first half up to, this will be their fifth quarter kick of the game. I believe that's dueling out there to take the kick. That's a high one that hangs in there. No initial clearance by the defense. Emma Herringhouse deflected it off to defender. She'll retreat back to it, and it, this will be a throw-in for Ottawa Glendorf. Titans couldn't find a shot, but Eastwood couldn't find clearance. And Randy Mollier, the near sideline official, says that'll be a throw-in, so that'll be put back in, sent back out, and that one lobbed towards the net, but too high and out of play. Well, it looks like Zura is coming back in, Delaney Zura, after that quick absence there, as she was treated by the athletic trainer, and come back to play that number nine position. Jensen said to send this away on the goal kick. Titans get ahead on it first, though, as Mackenzie Recker puts it down. Both teams battling for possession here. Micah Aldridge throws herself into it, comes up with possession. She's going to fire one, but right into the waiting hands of Jordan Jensen. Again, unofficially the eighth shot on goal for Ottawa Glendorf here in this first half. They have made Jordan Jensen have to do some work. Oh, Micah Aldridge with that goal today, 22 on the season. But you just saw it there, you know. Two, three defenders around her, that ball comes down. She's able to muscle in a, a, a shot, a good shot, forced to save by this Jordan Jensen. So, um, you know, she's not afraid to take those shots, especially when there's a lot of defenders around her. And um, you just see her, her development as a soccer player. And she's a physical presence, too. Was able to go in there and absorb some bumping around and still keep possession of the ball. It's really being able to help her create that one. Loose in the box, there's a left footer, and it's right off the foot of uh, Emma Herringhouse, but Jordan Jensen able to get down and snuff that one out. Those are, those are so dangerous for a defense when you don't get clearance and then the ball just sits in the goal box because you know somebody's coming to put a hammer on it. Well, Bree Douglas has been moved over to that left side for about the last 10 minutes of play here. You know, has been really dangerous attacking that outside backer and has put some dangerous balls into the box. And you saw that one go all the way across. You know, and there's Emma Herringhouse just waiting for that ball. And really a good save because Jordan Jensen went to her left and had to yeah. reach back to get that save. Um, so once again, another good save. But we see that this continuous attack by this OG Titans team, you know, it's really relentless. And yeah, they certainly haven't let up at all ever since about like five minutes into this game, or even beyond that, it felt like the first couple of minutes Eastwood had possession, but it was at that 304 mark when Delaney Dooling was able to strike. And since then, it's been all Titans on possession and really in terms of just how aggressive each team is playing. It's a nice cut back to the left, though. Going back to the right, uh, that's Delaney Zurin. Couldn't find a runner down the right side. Ball has popped forward. And that one... Maybe a miscommunication by, yeah, by the Titan defense there. Two players in there to try and head it away, and that'll give Eastwood a throw. Maybe the first Titan defensive miscue we've seen today. Comes the throw, headed into the goal box, and sent right back out of play by Megan Horseman. Throw in towards the... Right corner of the goal box, headed back. And Eastwood trying to chip that one in the goal box, see if they can get a runner. They just don't have the players forward for it. 
And we've got a, a flag over the other side. The judge says that can go out of bounds. It'll be a throw in once again for Eastwood. Eastwood putting some more players forward here, I think, Josiah. Yeah, a little bit more pressure here in the last two minutes. Trying to see if they can maybe get a, a goal on the board to make this a game here in the second half. But ball played out by Eastwood and substitution by this OG team. And not in any hurry here to, to play out this last 45 seconds. Ball set back down on the field by Riley Might. Sent over to the right side. Zara comes up with it. Plays it nicely forward to King. King tried to go to the left. She was looking for catch Merrick. Couldn't find it. That's going to be a handball. Ball bounced up into the hands of the Eastwood player. And now Ottawa Glendor with 20 seconds left can play it forward. But with a 2 nothing lead, I'm sure they'll just take their time and send it up and away. And if they can get a foot on it, they can get a foot on it. But that's going to do it. We played 40 minutes here in Tiffin, Ottawa Glendorf. An impressive performance through 40. They're up 2 0 on the structure scoreboard. We'll take a timeout back with more to come here on WOSM. Welcome back to Tiffin's Frost Countdown Stadium here for regional final action girls division three regional finals Ottawa Glendorf taking on the Eastwood Eagles as we approach the second half it's Ottawa Glendorf to Eastwood nothing goal scorers for the Titans in that first half of action Delaney Dooling just under two minutes into the game she was able to find that quick strike in the back of the net and then with 902 remaining in the half Micah Aldrich powered one through and that is how we set up here for half number two. Again, today's game, a service of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. Well, the Titans very aggressive, very deliberate in that first half. They were able to keep the pressure on the bulk of the first 40 minutes of this game. As a result, they had a total of about nine shots on goal, seven shots that they took that weren't on frame, and uh, you're the beneficiary most of the time when you take that many shots. Yeah, it's really been a dominant performance here by this OG team. You know, been really aggressive, not letting up, uh, forcing Jordan Jensen to make a lot of really good saves uh, for this Eastwood Eagles team. You know, this Eastwood Eagles team, you know, early had a couple opportunities yeah. there, got the ball around the 18. The ball fell a couple times to their leading scorer, Delaney Zura, um, who comes into uh, this game with 23 goals on the year and um, just haven't been able to put put away those opportunities and when you're playing such a, a good team in this OG you have to take advantage of those limited opportunities you're going to get and they just haven't been able to do that and on the other end OG has taken advantage of some of those mishaps um, on the defensive end for this Eastwood team and um, that's really the difference here early. Yeah, just two shots all together for Eastwood neither of them on frame and now the Titans get it back in their attacking half to start things off here in the second half of action in Diffin. Going to try and work this near sideline to Marissa Brown. Brown trying to turn the corner. Ball popped out in front of her left foot, but it's going to be a corner kick coming up. Or did they say Brown got a touch on it? They, in fact, will say Brown got a touch on it. Titans had five corners there in the first half, but they will not get one here. There's the goal kick to get things back and going. Titans get possession, though, as they send it over to the right side. Nice job stepping in front of, the front of that pass by Zura. Do they go back to her? Yes, they do. Now she sends it down the left sideline. Here comes the attack from Eastwood. Titans trying to bottle it up. Nobody following, though, and the Titans are able to send that one away back to midfield, but it finds itself to a Rothenbuehler. Rothenbuehler plays it forward. The Titans now will get clearance as that one gets back out towards midfield. Yeah, and that's really been the attack for Eastwood. Been able to combine two or three passes, but once they get into that final third, having a hard time finding that open runner. And um, that's really that OG defense collapsing that middle um, there. But at least, you know, Eastwood there got a shot, not on frame, but um, we're seeing this Eastwood team come out attacking here early in this second half, you know, knowing that they need to, to find 
a goal here to really put the pressure back on OG. Well, I'm taking a risk there, too, as they send a center back up who takes that shot. That was Kayla Bueller who uncorked that one, and then you see her have to retreat all the way back. But those are the type of things they're going to have to do to fight their way back into this as the Titans get another throw in. Of course, as a lot of soccer coaches will tell you, and I'm sure as you will know, that 2-0 lead is always the most dangerous lead in soccer. You kind of have the game under control, but kind of don't at that point. Uh, not that you expect this Titan team to really let off the gas in or anything, but 2-0 uh, ever, especially in the high school ranks, never totally seems out of reach. No, and, and there's a lot of experience on this OG team. A lot of these players back from, from last year's yeah. uh, state final run, but... Yeah, like you said, you know, one goal can change the the just feel yep. of a game. You know, if this Eastwood team can can put one into the back of the net, you know, then the pressure kind of shifts. You know, OG changes, you know, you know defensively, but also um, on the attack, wanting to gain that two goal advantage again. But um, you know, here early, this Eastwood team gaining some possession, uh, forcing OG uh, to play a little bit more defensive here. But now they gained a little bit of possession. We'll see if they can attack. Marissa Brown tried to send it up the sideline. It was sent right back to her. That one deflected out of bounds. Should be an Ottawa Glendorf throw, and it will be. Delaney Dueling puts it in play. Dueling's goal earlier in the game was her seventh of the season. Centering pass. That one too far back, but nobody was really there to receive it. Savannah Record comes forward to get it. Let's the Titans continue to attack. Bree Douglas. A centering pass. Aldrich nearly got ahead on it. Bounces all the way over to Doling. Doling trying to work it to a right. Ball is kind of stuck in the churn there. Eastwood able to get clearance. Ball is popped forward and now played forward as Eastwood. A little confusion there as Zazura and another player kind of on top of each other trying to receive that one. That allows the Titans to get back to it. Well, I've really been impressed with Bree Douglas on those wings as we can see how she scored or has 23 assists um, on the year has done a really good job of putting dangerous balls into the box and another one there um, by OG forcing a save by Jordan Jensen but um, this OG those wingers really fly up the pitch and and put some really good balls into the box and dueling with that shot there you get the feeling if the Titans can just a couple of their shots have been directly at Jensen. If they can work the angles a little bit more, they're going to pile on a couple more goals here. Well, even that last cross there um, by Bree Douglas, you know, just over the head of Aldrich, and, you know, bounced just over the head then of Seifker also. So these balls, you know, just uh, they're, they're close. <laughs> you know, they're continuing to attack here. And once again, Bree Douglas putting the ball into the box and, Wow, that's a great cross. She works that corner so well. She's able to get that step, always gets that centering pass, usually puts it in a dangerous position for her teammates to do something with. It's not a new thing for her either. She's been doing it for a couple of years here for Ottawa Glendale. When you have that distributor out on the wing like that that can just put it right in the middle of the box, let your players run onto it. It's just such a great weapon to have. That's why she has so many assists this year, 23 coming into today's game. Yeah, well, we saw it in the first half, too, is they moved her over to the left side, and she was doing the exact yeah. same thing, you know, distributing. So, you know, just a great player that can play a variety of sides and puts quality balls into the box no matter where she's at. Delaney Zura tried the centering pass, but that was cleared away by Ottawa Glendorf and sent out of play. Yeah, good defense there by Carly Brinkman, center back for this OG team. I believe one of the captains there on the defense does a really good job. Oh, we're going to get a stoppage here. This is going to be a card uh, against Eastwood on the shove there. Piper Sutton will receive the yellow card. She'll have to come out of the game now. And the Titans will get the kick here at midfield. And that might have been a little bit of a fr frustration foul there. Yeah, most definitely. Really the first sort of uh, play like that that we've seen today. It hasn't been an overtly physical game by any means. A couple of people running into each other here or there, but mostly it's been a fairly clean game. Ball lobbed forward. Gets into the goal box. Eastwood unable to get clearance. Now volleying that one away is uh, Sailor King. Play it for, pardon me, that's Sailor King with it. Over to the left side, 
And wisely played out of bounds by Savannah Wrecker there, knowing that she had pressure coming from Abby Rothenbuehler. Rothenbuehler got a foot on it, then headed forward by the Titans. Now the Eagles might have something developing here as they try and work on the goal box. That was nicely played by Megan Horseman. Yeah, Zura looked like she was waiting for that little stab, but Horseman did a great job of reading that big touch and was able to clear it. And, you know, just once again, not a whole lot of weaknesses on no. this OG team from front to back. You know, not a team that just has to score goals to win. You know, they got a defense in the back, let alone, you know, a solid goalkeeper. You know, as a team, only giving up six goals all year. Avi Kashmerik tried to make the turn there, but set it past the end line. So it'll be a goal kick coming up for Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, when you have a back line that you can trust, that they don't just stab at the ball. They actually make a very skillful play every time they're going for the steal. That's such a luxury to have. And I think Carson Erford very much appreciates it. Yes. <laughs> you don't face very many silly shots that way. Ball is put forward into the air, and Mike Aldrich heads it back down. It's trying to find a way to work the sideline here, and that one off the foot of Delaney dueling it out of play. We've played nearly eight minutes here in the second half, and on the structure scoreboard, 2 0 Ottawa Glandorf over Eastwood. The right to move on to the state semifinals on the line here in Tiffin. Titans. In great position to move forward once again, but trying to find one or two more goals to really hammer this one home. Douglas spinning towards the middle of the field, had it pried away momentarily. That ball bounced off of a record. Can she keep it in play? Yes, she can. No, she can't. The nope. officials say that it did cross the end line, and it will be a goal kick coming out. She about got there. Made it interesting. And a goal kick coming up once again for Jordan Jensen. Jensen hasn't been quite as busy here in the second half as she was in the first, only facing one shot so far. But just like that, Bree Douglas has it for the Titans. She's going to uncork one, and that one brought down by Jensen for her second save of the half. I like that take, though, by Douglas. She's so known for distributing the ball. You might be able to catch the keeper off guard a little bit just by sending one in at her if she thinks you're going to try the centering pass. Yeah, you know, it's good as a player. You want the goalkeeper to be thinking about a lot of different yeah. things. You know, where's the run coming from? Where's the ball coming from? You know, and we've seen that tonight, um, just that early shot there. Now the keeper the next time goes, I can't get as far off my line. So that might open up a shot then for a teammate on a cross the next time. So, you know, yeah, like you said, I like that early shot forcing the keeper to think so next time you know what's what's my uh, what am I going to have to defend long lob down the left sideline trying to get it back to Emma Herringhouse Titans work it on the near sideline that one kept in play Eastwood sends it out towards the center but hustling up to get to that and that one's deflected Piper Sutton battling for it but winning that battle is Savannah Wrecker Eastwood, though, gets her right back. Wrecker steps right back in front of another one. <laughs> Two great defensive efforts right there. Definitely read the angle on the pass well a couple of times. Left side, Herringhouse. Herringhouse wanted to try and turn it back to her left. It was deflected away from her. She'll get it right back from her teammate. And sent out of play by the Eagles. Throwing coming up, Titans. There's the throw immediately sent back downfield. Misplayed a bit there by Grothaus, but Good communication, letting her know that, that she was there for it was Carly Brinkman. And the Titans able to switch it up, go to Douglas. Nice one-touch pass to her right side to Wrecker. Wrecker to try and work the sideline, looking for a cross. Sends it back to Douglas. They're a little bit behind her. Douglas initially struggled to uh, control it. Tried the centering pass, wasn't there. Eastwood will get it out of harm's way. Now they might have something in a counter. Send it to the middle of the field. They don't have numbers, but they do have the momentum going back their way. That last pass, though, a little bit too far beyond the reach of that attacking left winger. Titans will send it out of play. Throw in Eastwood. Ball lobbed towards the box. 
Over to the right side. Trying to get it into uh, Josie Applehead. Applehead's and just was unable to connect. She'll battle for it. Titans send it out of play, throwing coming up for the Eastwood Eagles. Kenzie Chafee throws the ball in. Headed out of play by Eastwood, throwing coming up Ottawa Glandorf. Yeah, this OG defense, you know, once again, you know, can't talk enough about them is, you know, just just solid all around, you know. As you said, they, they're not stabbing, they're not putting themselves right. out of position. Even when somebody's attacking them, you know, they're just sitting back waiting for that bit, that bad touch. And tonight, you know, they've just done a great job of keeping everything in front of them. That's a great cross, headed back at the goal. Couldn't quite get the momentum on it, and Jordan Jensen comes up with the save. It's a nice pass, nice setup. Yeah, just so many players that can distribute the ball and put the ball in dangerous areas. And just a you know kind of testament to see you know why so many players on this OG team have so many goals because just balls, no matter who has it, they're always looking for their teammates, trying to put the ball in the dangerous area. And once again, Bree Douglas has the ball and a good cross to find Seifkert. Ah. But just underneath the Herring House, set away. Can the Titans keep it? And battling for possession. That's a good challenge and sent out of play by Appleheads. It'll be a throw in now coming up. Substitution coming on for Eastwood. We'll take a quick break back after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Frost Cow Now Stadium here in Tiff. And I'm Jenkins, Josiah Stover with you here as we are 14 minutes into the second half of this regional final, Division Three, Ottawa Glendorf leading the Eastwood Eagles by a score of two to nothing. And the Titans looking to get on the attack again. That one pried away from Aldrich. Coming up to it and getting it to Sailor King. King plays it to the outside and gets it right back. Now swings it right back to Delaney Zura. And that'll go out of play, throwing coming up out of Glendorf. A little bit too much lead on that ball. Yeah, that's just kind of been the story of the afternoon for this Eastwood team is, you know, has some really good possession in the middle of the field, but once they get into that final third and that OG defense kind of collapses on top of them, just haven't been able to find that final pass, you know, to, to at least get Zura, who you want, to yeah. have the ball, to get a good strike on the ball. So, um, you know, OG continues just with that suffocating defense you know, limit Eastwood what they can do, even on these counters. Ball sent out to the sideline, and that will get out of play. I think that was last touch. Yeah, it was last touch by a catch American. It'll be a throw-in coming in for Ottawa Glendorf. Bree Douglas had subbed out. Looks like she's getting ready to come back on, and she will do so here. Substitution for Eastwood as well, as they'll bring Delaney Zara out for a quick breather. Well, the WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today. Stay up to date on all of the scores from around the area. Titans with a little something on the attack here. Pass to the right sideline. Hustling to get to it is uh, Maya Herringhouse. And just not able to catch up to that one to get a good touch on it. It'll be a goal kick coming up Eastwood. The winner of this again plays the winner of champion out of Warren and Akron Manchester, the other side of the bracket, West Liberty Salem and Cincinnati Madeira, as well as Lynchburg Clay and Cincinnati Country Day. It's gonna be lobbed down the left side of the field. And getting to it first is Megan Horseman. Now going back to the Titan defense, on one of the previous attack for Eastwood there was a 50-50 ball out of midfield. Maybe Eastwood had a little bit more. And instead of having a defender run at it, I think it might have been Mike Aldrich who hung back. She didn't take the risk and get out of position, risk getting beat to that ball. And as a result, the defense didn't have to scramble around. So that one is headed in. Eastwood trying to find a shot, but plenty of Navy Blue jerseys around there to send that one out of play. Well, and I like watching, you know, when somebody does step to the ball, they 
always have somebody there covering them and you can see it they work really well that back line they're shifting side to side you know knowing that okay if my 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 teammate steps to the ball somebody's behind right them, you know and they don't make many errors anyway but if they do get beat they know they have their teammate right there um, to help them out so we've seen that tonight is you know, especially those two center backs, they do a really good job of working together. One steps, one covers, always in the right position. Throwing coming up for Ottawa Glandorf. Center officials is back up just a little bit. And we are back underway. Teams lobbying it back and forth. That one finds its mark, but the touch was off pace. And Thought for a moment Eastwood might be able to that pass over to the left side. I thought could be dangerous and lead to something for Eastwood. They just couldn't get the touch they wanted, though, to set something up. We'll send it forward and now to the near sideline where Douglas sets it down. Skilled feet there to get that one under control. That one deflected off of a couple of Eastwood players and then found its way to the feet of Sailor King. King going to get back to it. Wheels it out to the left side. Grace Abbey trying to step to a right. That's well defended, but it goes all the way back to Rothenbuehler. Rothenbuehler sends it forward. That deflects off of a defender over to the right side. The shot is going to be off of the foot of Ava Kachmerik, but easily into the hands of Carson Erfer to give her credit for her first save of the ball game. Yeah, hasn't had to do much today, but was in the right position there um, to crowd that ball. You know, but we've seen a little bit of Eastwood, you know, getting the ball wide and then putting those balls yeah. into the box. And that's what you have to do against this quality defense of OG is you got to get the ball wide, spread them out a little bit, you know, but even those the outside backers for OG, you know, they're so solid, keep everything in front of them, you know, makes it difficult to put those good balls into the box. Indeed it does. Mike Aldridge stops, goes right back to her left, has some green to work with. Now sends it over the left side of the pass, though, off the mark, stolen by Kenna Nelson. Well, and we're seeing it here too, especially with this Eastwood team, is they got the ball up, but there was no support. Yeah. You know, it was 4v1, nobody there to help support, you know, their attacking players. So, and that's just because this Eastwood team is having to, to sink back so far to throw numbers behind the ball to slow down this OG team. Yeah, you almost need, as Aldridge knocked off the ball, you're not going to see that happen very often. Kenneth Nelson got leverage, and well, they're going to call a foul there. So, Titans will have it just inside what will be the 25-yard line strap. Aldrin says, I'll just have a shot at it and put it right into the hands of Jordan Jensen. Fourth shot on goal this half for the Titans. Unofficially have 13 this game. Well, everybody I, knew that she was going to be <laughs> taking that shot. And, you know, as a coach, that's exactly who I'd want. You know, putting that ball in frame and, you know, Jordan Jensen, another good save by her, keeping this Eastwood team in the ball game here. Still only 2 nothing scoreline. Eastwood with the throw on the far sideline. A lob it forward, trying to get a runner to Wasserman up there. But Mike Aldrich ends up with it. Aldrich, Salbury Douglas, that one was going to need to carry a while, but ultimately it's going to end up over to where Bree Douglas is anyway. Douglas to the middle of the field. Douglas on the attack, takes it all the way to the right, set it on the right side. She's got a wide open teammate. Here comes the shot. That one is going to sail high and out of play. That one off the foot, I believe, of Emma Herringhouse there. Boy, that gave Douglas a lot of room to operate there. That could end up bad for the defense more often than not. Yeah, this Eastwood team giving her a lot of space. She attacked that middle, and nobody really stepped up to stop her. I think she had a couple options that she could have passed to, you know, because she had so much time, but decides to go out to Herringhouse, and Herringhouse just puts it a little high, doesn't get it on frame. The score remains 2 0 with 19.24 remaining in this one. Now there's a takeaway for the Titans as McKenzie Recker comes up with it, finds Micah Aldrich. Aldrich to the left side. That is going to be a handball. That one took a bounce that Kenzie Chafee was not expecting. And now the Titans get another kick here in a very precarious position for Eastwood. Chance yeah, to do some damage. And Chafee's probably lucky she didn't get a yellow card there because after the call, she kicks the ball to the That's other side of the point. field. So 
Could have easily been a yellow card here, but the official decided to let it go. Bree Douglas will take the kick. She has four players lined up on the right side of the goal box. She's going to take the shot herself. That one hit off the crossbar. Haldrich will head it forward. That one was off frame and to the right. Douglas put a hammer on that one. That was a laser. It just didn't have any top spin to bring it down underneath the crossbar. No, and it rocked that crossbar, too. And that was well struck. Yes, it was. Yeah, Jordan Jensen kind of just had to watch it go over her head because there was nothing she was going to do about that. But once again, second time, I think, tonight, saved by <laughs> the crossbar or the, the post. So I forget which Premier League announcer it was that I heard say that the woodwork is often the keeper's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, that is a very true statement. Yeah, very true. Substitution, Ottawa Glendorf, with 18 minutes remaining here. Throw it, and the ball is headed initially by Eastwood. Mike Aldridge, though, finds it, sends it left side, where she finds Marissa Brown. Brown had it taken away. Eastwood tried that long diagonal pass, but again, there's nobody up there to make that run mm. right now. That one got out of bounds. Last touch by the Titans. Liv Grothaus tried to keep it alive and just could not keep it from crossing the top line. Here comes the throw in once again for Eastwood. It'll be Kenna Nelson taking that. Nope, she's going to take this out. And on the long substitution, we'll take a timeout with 17.25 and counting. Ottawa Glendorf up 2 nothing. We're back after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Frost Countdown Stadium here on WOSN. I'm Jenkins, Josiah Stober with you for this regional final matchup in girls division three high school soccer. Ottawa Glendorf up two nothing. Now Bree Douglas threatening, making three to nothing. Ball poked away from her at the last moment by Kayla Bueller. That's a big stop there because the Titans had numbers and momentum. Yeah, that's exactly what you want as an attacking player is to have the defense running backwards. You know, and, and good stop there by this Eastwood defense there to just get a little touch on it, slow down that momentum. And, but once again, OG has possession of the ball and see if they can continue to attack. Megan Horseman really forcing the issue to keep the Titans on the attack. That one, though, will deflect out of bounds off of Marissa Brown. It'll be a throw in coming up now for Eastwood. Ball bounces all the way back to Piper Sutton. Plays it forward to Zira. Zira looking for a long pass. Didn't get the touch she wanted. I think she wanted some air underneath that. However, this time Eastwood able to send it forward. High bounce is going to slow it up. And it will be a goal kick coming up. Shielding the ball there was Carly Brinkman. Looked like there might be an injury down there. Yeah, I think. Might have took a little bit of the contact from Brinkman as she was just kind of shielding the ball out of play. And Look like the player is now up and moving. Uh, Ava Catch Merrick, the player who went down there for Eastwood. Looks like she'll be all right. Yeah, when you're running in to full speed and then happen to run into the back of someone shielding it, doesn't always feel great. Doling brings it down, but it's taken away by Eastwood. And Eastwood has some numbers up here. Yes, they do. Throwing some players forward. And the Titans, strong defense, and then a trip going to be called against Eastwood. But full credit there goes to Savannah Recker, who just did a great job being in the spot, forcing the Eastwood player to have to slide into or just to have a chance at that ball. Yeah, and you wonder at what point if um, Coach Cross for this Eastwood Eagles just decides to send some more bodies forward, you know, with it being the regional finals, doesn't matter if you, yeah. if you lose 5 nothing or 2 nothing. It doesn't really matter. Exactly. So we'll see. But here's some numbers with That's Zora up top. Pass over to the left side. Zora was the intended player, but Carly Brinkman gets over there and sends it away. A little bit better of an angle on that pass. And Eastwood might have had something cooking, but that one rolled a little bit too far forward. Brinkman able to take advantage and set it out of play. And that lets the tight defense get set back up. Throw in coming for the Eagles. Deep in their attacking third. Played right back to the throw. This one is set in, but right into the hands of Carson Erford. Erford with her second save of the game there. A little more positive play for Eastwood here in the last two minutes. A couple opportunities to 
spring some counters on this OG defense. And nice job we'll by McKenna Seifert to keep that yeah. ball alive. Pass down the left sideline, Eastwood. Again, we'll see if they're willing to set more bodies forward. Looks like they are. There's a pass that's just going to roll by on the left side. I think that was Sailor King as the Titans will send that one away. Again, just a 2 nothing game. And Eastwood starting to find some ways to creep up the field a little bit. If they can find something a little bit more direct on the goal. I think they've got two shots on goal this game. Both of them, though, have not really been a direct attack. Sent forward, but intercepted by Rothenbuehler. Again, not a lot of room to operate, though, for the Eagles. That ball's chipped forward. Well, it's not going to come, my personal opinion, I don't think it's going to come attacking the middle. It's got yeah. to be, be wide. I mean, you look right now with this OG defense, six, seven bodies all within, in between the numbers. you got to attack them wide, force them to spread out, and try to get a good cross into the box. I think one of the more interesting things about high school soccer, really soccer in general, is even a team that possesses it as well and has like the majority of possession in a game like Ottawa Glendorf has, there's going to be five, sometimes ten minute stretches where the team that's down starts to string together some possessions and some attacking opportunities. Very rarely do you see a team just out and out dominate possession for the entirety of the game. And that's when, when you start to feel that swing in the momentum, well, like Eastwood might be seeing a little bit here in terms of possession. You've got to make some hay here. Well, and I think they have made a little bit of change here. Eastwood is, you know, prior they were having those like two sixes, those holding midfielders sit back to help defensively. It looks like they've switched that to push one more body up forward. Yeah. So that might be the difference here in the last couple minutes where we see a few more bodies where they're trying to throw, you know, a little bit more at this OG defense. And, you know, they've, they've found a few opportunities, just not on goal. Throw in Titans. Ball deflected out of bounds, last touched by OG. Quick throw in Eastwood, going with a little bit more urgency here. The ball is headed up by King. Turns the corner, this one is lobbed over to the right side. There's nobody there. We'll try and cross it back, but there's plenty of navy blue jerseys in the middle of the field again, like you said, Josiah. That's the, that's the hardest part of this tight defense to crack. Bree Douglas did a nice job getting the ball out of there, and it will be last touched by Douglas against sort of away from a potential attacker for Eastwood. Well, and OG's, you know, has adjusted a little bit, you know, sitting back a little bit more, knowing that trying to keep that 2-0 lead here for now. And, you know, but especially with this OG team is they're so quick. They can get the ball on that counter, get that ball up the field. And right now they're just kind of sitting in and waiting until they gain some possession. Now they'll try to throw some numbers forward. And looks like the Titans are able to move forward on their own right. Didn't quite have the numbers there, but Mike Aldridge is there to send it back. That one was one bounce away from Friday beat Bree Douglas down the left sideline. The Eastwood defense that was able to keep it in play, but the Titans take it right back. Now Bree Douglas with it. A little bit of space to operate, too. She makes the decision to go towards the left corner. Gets around the defender, looking for that left cross, and that one into the waiting hands of Jordan Jensen once again. And again, the Titans send it right in at Jensen. They've really enjoyed testing her. For the most part, she's come up big. There's yeah. just been two times where there's been nothing she's been able to do. Yeah, a quality keeper, you know, has really kept this Eastwood team in the game, keeping it at that 2-0 score line here. You know, and OG has, has tested her. We saw a couple, you know, that big save against um, – Bree Douglas early on, it looked like she even came up a little bit shaken, um, you know, but she had to full out stretch and dive to, to get a hand on the ball. So, um, you know, got to give a lot of props there to Jordan yeah. Jensen, um, you know, playing against this really good OG team. Quick substitutions here with 9.45 remaining. Just imagine the Titans are going to get in the lineup that they want for that last run here within the next four minutes or so so they don't have to stop the clock in the last five minutes with any substitutions. Ball deflected out of bounds by Eastwood. Throw one coming up. Bree Douglas. 
See if you're trying to turn that corner again, but it's deflected out of play by the Eastwood defense. Well, we see OG's not changing at all as they're trying to get the ball in as quickly as possible, trying to attack, put the pressure on this Eastwood team. You know, they want to get that, that third goal, kind of really put this game away here. You know, many teams, you know, up 2 nothing might want to slow the pace of the game down a little bit, but they're continuing to attack, they continue to play their style, which is, you know, why they're 21 yeah. on the year. Ball again put out of bounds by Eastwood. Ball deflected forward by Douglas. Stepping up to that one is Aldridge. Couldn't quite keep the handle on it, but the deflection finds its way back out to Mackenzie Recker. Recker trying to go back to the right, loses her footing. And Eastwood trying to find an attack down the left sideline with Delaney Zara. Just don't have the numbers. And we'll get a battle for possession. Ball sent out of play by Aldridge. Well, and it's so hard to, to counter on this OG team because you put so much energy on the defensive side. And then when you do get possession, you're trying to make 50, 60 yard runs yeah. to get the ball up the field. So you see why you know some of these Eastwood players look like they're a little tired on their legs, can't get the, the motor going to get the ball up the field. Douglas with a great move around to the defender and sends it towards the corner. And that one deflects off a couple of players, didn't go out of bounds. Douglas nearly got back to it. And sent out a play by the Titans. 7.44 remaining in the contest on the Structure scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Throw in as Aldridge steps in front, comes up with the steal. Titans don't have numbers, but they might be able to switch the field here. Indeed, they do as they go over to the right side. Chipping forward, that one is going to go into the goal box. Looks like it's probably going to go wide to the right had it continued, but stepping in front was Jordan Jensen. Pass over to the right side. Titans trying to get some possession. Ball to flex, though, off the Titan midfielder. And substitution Titans will take a timeout as well. 6.47 accounting remaining in the second half. OG up 2 nothing on the structure scoreboard. Back after this on WOSN. Back at Frost Cow now Stadium here in Tiffin, where in this regional final matchup, Ottawa Glendorf trying to close the door on Eastwood, leading 2 nothing. 6.20 remaining in the contest on the Structure Outdoor scoreboard. Again, today's game, a service of Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus in St. Mary's as Bree Douglas takes it to all the way to the end of the road. There's the header, and it is in off of Seifker's head. What a pass, what a shot, and the Titans make it 3 nothing with 6.05 remaining in the contest. We'll take a timeout. Back with more from Tiffin after this. Welcome back to Frost Cownow Stadium here in Tiffin, where the Titans may have closed the door on this regional final with their third goal of the game. But Kenneth Seeker, the header off of Bree Douglas's cross with 6.05 remaining in the second half, makes it 3 0 in favor of the Titans, trying to get back to the state for a second year in a row and in great position to do so with just under six minutes remaining in this game. And boy, that third goal goes a long way. There's not much time left regardless, but it's just the difference of we still have a shot. Two, three is a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And you almost felt it was a matter of time before OG put another one on the board. And once again, it was Bree Douglas, you know, comes in her 25th assist of the year, you know, just attacks that outside backer with her left foot, puts a beautiful ball across the six. And then Seifker there just waiting for it, heads the ball in. It's just amazing. not done yet. Maybe that one wide to the right. Yeah, that one wasn't far to the right. But it's interesting. It's, McKenna Seeker is again the, 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 the highest goal scorer on the team. 31 coming in now, 32. 
almost fairly quiet in today's game, but always putting yourself in a position to have success when the time comes, and right there's a great example of it. Well, and that's a sign of a good striker, you know, as they take their opportunities and they, they finish off, you know, when they can. And, you know, she, she affects the game in so many ways, and just her positioning and where she's at and, and the runs she makes, you know, just a smart player understands where she needs to be and positions her body in a good way to, to set herself up for a good spot, you know, to, to head that ball in and, and just a just a great, you know, just play by multiple players there um, of OG. Well, Ottawa Glendorf looking to add another regional final trophy to the trophy case there at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Not a trophy case lacking for hardware by any means either. No, From not multiple at all. sports. <laughs> Great success for Ottawa Glendorf. Great turnout by the Titan faithful, as you would expect, too. Pretty robust student section here as well. Of course, I think they have runners at the state tournament that did cross country meet today as well. So some people having to split some time, but uh, another successful day for Ottawa Glendorf with 335 remaining here in the half. And then we'll see if they can complete the shutout. And that's where Carson Erfer has to be thinking, you know what, we've, we've got this game. I want the shutout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I'm not trying to be selfish here, but 3 nothing looks a lot better than 3-1. Well, it's amazing and, to go this far in a tournament run without giving yeah. up a goal um, so far. And, you know, minimum, you know, of scoring at least three goals in every game here in this tournament run so far. So not, not shy at scoring. Throw and come up for Eastwood with inside three minutes remaining in this contest. Again, at four o'clock today, it's Warren Champion and Akron Manchester battling it out. The winner of that game will play what should be the Ottawa Glendorf Titans here. Throw in coming up for the Titans. They'll take some time here. Just an impressive performance by the Titans from the go in this one. Scored with inside two minutes of the first half. There's a shot, and that one will bounce into the waiting hands of Carson Erford. She'll get her third save of the day. Yeah, Sailor King finding a little bit of space there, about 30 yards out, and decided to put a little shot on it, but easy one there for Carson Erford to make a, another save. Takes us inside two minutes remaining. There's the chip forward. Titans play it to the near sideline. Trying to work it back to Douglas. Couldn't quite keep it in play. And it'll be another throw in coming up for Eastwood. Headed down by the Titan defense. Right now, OG, just making sure that they don't see the goal, just playing some solid soccer. Don't have to be too aggressive, although they might have something here working. Three on four, can they get it to the sideline? Not quite. Maybe one too many dribbles that time for Mackenzie Wrecker. But Wrecker's going to be able to work her way back into a spot to get the ball back for a team. Ball is deflected by Grace Meter over to the left side. Titans off of Aldridge, pass it forward to Douglas. Douglas with an assist in this one. That's just what she does. Nice move around the defender to take it all the way to a spot where she can make a pass. Doesn't necessarily need to, so she's going to dribble it back out. That one will be touched out of play. Nope, it will be kept alive. Yeah, the game was still, the ball was still alive. Everybody just sort of stopped. The officials even looked at each other. Did you call it out of bounds? No, I think. Yeah, I think they realized they thought the ball was out of bounds. And... Titan fans come to their feet here at Frost Count Out Stadium. As this one nearly in the books, just 10 seconds separating us from the end of this contest. And Ottawa Glendorf once again will be state bound by virtue of a 3 0 victory. The shutout in the postseason continues for Ottawa Glendorf. 
Very, very impressive squad. Yeah, just the dominant performance by this OG Lady Titans team. And, you know, probably came in the favorites, you know, to, to repeat going back to state. But, you know, they showed why, um, you know, they are one of the best teams yeah. in the state here today. And, you know, just a well-balanced a team that's continued to, to grow and even continue to get better, which is hard to, hard to yeah. say, you know, for a team like this. But they're continuing, you know, to just play as a team. They look for each other. Um, they attack, you know, defensively. They're so solid in the back. But, you know, congratulations to Eastwood um, on their um, journey so far this year. But, um, you know, looking forward to see, you know, OG continue at state. Like we said, if you're playing soccer in November, you've done something right. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of props for Eastwood as they uh, hype, uh, get in the handshake line with Ottawa Glendorf. The Titan goals today by Delaney Dooling with 38.04 remaining in the first half. Micah Aldrich out of the second one with 9.02 remaining in the first. And McKenna Siefker, the capper with 6.05 remaining in the game off the Bree Douglas cross. All adds up to a 3-0 victory for Ottawa Glendorf. That'll do it for us on WOSN. For Josiah Stover, I'm Doug Jenkins. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on WOSM.